let me start by saying congrats on the movie. Mm. It was uh, fucking awesome to oh, spend man. two hours back in this world. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I, I have to start, I think, with uh, at any point, even though Vince is a genius, yeah. like he's a, he's a god, a genius. He but is a god. You're right. Like at any point, though, were you saying to him, you know, the finale's kind of amazing. Do we want to play with this at all? Or were you sort of like, he's going to get this? I had no doubt in my mind that he would nail it. No doubt. And I'm with you. I think it is so hard to nail a landing um, when ending a series, uh, especially a very popular one like Breaking Bad, because everyone is so um, connected and passionate about it, but they also don't want to say goodbye. And they're like, if you're going to say goodbye, you better fucking do it perfectly. And I think Vince and the writers really nail the landing. Um, and I think some people are like, whoa, 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 don't mess with this legacy here. Um, but I, you know, the only thing I can say to that is, look, you trusted Vince through the, the, the duration of Breaking Bad. Um, that trust should continue. Well, also, Bre Better Call Saul is fantastic. Oh, also, of, of course. You know, so and he's doing an incredible job there. And he doesn't need to tell the story, you know. Um, but it was just something that was in him. He's like, fuck, I, I, I want to know what happened to Jesse. I mean, he wanted to know. Sure. You know, he wanted to know. Um, and that was the one sort of question that he kept getting asked, that I kept getting asked, what happened to Jesse? And so um, here we are. So uh, how, honestly, how early on did you know this movie was gonna happen? And mm -hmm. how long did you have to keep it a secret? I uh, got a phone call two and a half years ago, maybe, something like that, um, that Vince had an idea. Um, he said, look, I have this idea. I wanted to see if you were on board before I dove deeper. Um, I don't want to put the, the, the cart before the horse because I don't want to do it unless it's perfect, but I want to see if you're on board and then I'll go from there. And I said, Vince, I would follow you into a fire, whatever you want to do. And then he's like, all right, well, I'll get back to you. And then cut to five, six, seven months later, roughly, he said, uh, it's done. And um, I think it's pretty perfect, so. Um, I can't imagine, so now that it's been out, now that the movie's made and everything, you can talk freely, so who'd you tell back then that Vince might do the movie? Uh, well, my wife was waiting inside the store, Evolution in New York, I was talking to Vince outside, and I ran inside, I go, babe, you would have no idea what this conversation was all about, because it was a scheduled call, and uh, I'm like, Vince wants to do a film that follows Jesse post Breaking Bad. And we just kind of sat there in silence because I didn't, like, I knew it was going to be genius, of course. And what a fun thing to do. You know, Vince had never directed a film before. And the fact that him and I were able to go on that journey together is a, is a dream come true. Um, I, uh, I told my family. Um, I knew I could trust them. They were very excited. <laughs> and I just told a, a couple, just a couple best friends. That's it. Um, and then everybody else I just lied to. Right, exactly. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not talking to Vince uh, for the movie, so I, I am curious though, did, were there a lot of deleted scenes in the movie? Do you remember, or is it very close to what you shot? You know what, um, about 30% about of the movie was cut. Really? Yeah, um, the original uh, cut was about thir three hours, yeah. I know, that's what I said, to, that's what I said to him when I first saw it, I was like, Ah, oh, this is so beautiful, but where's the other part of the movie? You know, and um, he's like, I don't want to bore people. I go, Vince, people want more. Like, more is more in this situation. So maybe down the road there'll be a, you know, another, another cut. But uh, with that said, I think what, what we have is, is, is great. Um, it's great. I think I'm it's literally, great. my heart hurts. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I'm like, well, there's another cut out there, so maybe you know I can convince him to release it. Well, I'm gonna just do one follow up because I, I know Vince is gonna not want you to tell too much. But was there was there a whole storyline that was taken out, or was it just scenes along the way? No, it was just kind of uh, 
shoe leather just kind of scenes along the way on some scenes were condensed um, there was a pretty serious thing that was cut that uh, was actually the very first thing that Vince wrote when he was writing this film it was the very first thing um, but he decided to and it wasn't the, the first part of the movie it was just the first thing that he wrote um, but he decided to cut it um, I won't tell you what that was but um, maybe off camera but um, <laughs> But yeah, I was sad to, we actually didn't even um, end up uh, shooting it. Um, it was just cut from the, from the script. Um, but yeah, that shit happens all the time. Listen, I, I, I get a, a Kingdom of Heaven was three hours and brought down to 220. There's so many things, but yeah. I would like to think that with Netflix, maybe if the film, they could do an extended cut. Yeah, just... yeah I mean, they, you know, there's a lot of stuff that was... Uh, that landed on on film, so and and a cut that um, I actually never even saw the initial cut, the three hour long cut. But you know, come on, Vince. 